welcome back to the channel. Right, I got myself a new toy. The MI6 pinpointer from XP. And uh, as I've got the RRX, it seems stupid not to get one. Um, this is my old pinpointer. This, this is the Quest X pointer. Um, as of a mid-range pinpointer goes, bloody brilliant, can't fault it. Um, but I want, you know, I've got the RRX, so why not use all the features the RRX has to offer? So I went out and bought the MI6. And the beauty of this one is that when it's paired to the RRX, when you switch it on, it turns the coil of the RRX off. And the sound from this comes through the headphones or the speaker on the control box, depending on what you've got speaker turned on or not. So, and also there's settings on the RRX as well to adjust the uh, sensitivity and tones and what have you of this. So yeah, well worth it if you've got a Deus or an RX is to, is to have one of these. Um, so there's nothing wrong with this. It's been a bloody good, bloody good pro. Um, but the other thing with this as well is when you switch it on, it can interfere with the, the coil of the RX. And then when you've got your headphones on, it's beeping and going nuts through your earphones. But with the MI6, it switches the coil off. So um, <clears throat> you don't get any interference off the coil. Right, so. There's, there's probably a million new, uh, videos on YouTube on how to pair this thing to the RX, But I'll do a quick one now as it's quick and easy to do. I'll show you how to do it. Quickly whisk through the settings. And then we'll bomb off out in the garden and um, dig up a few targets and test it in the real world. Right, so to pair the pinpointer. <clears throat> you need to go into here. Select pinpointer. And then switch on the pinpointer and hold the button down for 8 seconds. <laughs> And there we go. I mean, it's paired to the RX now. Right, so if we come out of here now. So we're back on the detected screen. And we want to use the pinpointer. Press the pinpointer on. And the settings on the screen. <clears throat> you can adjust the sensitivity from 0 to 50. 30 is probably about all you'll need. If you go up too high, it will start playing a tune. Well, I did have it playing a tune. So 30 is good enough for the sensitivity. On the tone, that is for on the, the beeping tone. This one will stay the same. But if you go down to this one and press pulse. You can change the tone of the pulse. What else have we got? So, change the pulse. I like to have it on that one. And that's all the settings there is to it. Um, dead easy to use. Not expecting much. The dreaded foil. Well, I have a feeling that's what it'll be looking at the numbers. But just to give you, you know, I'm not really out to find anything really. It's just to show you the pinpointer. Okay, let's see if there is anything out here. Let's go and have another look, see what we can find.
the teeny tiniest bit of foil. And the uh, MI6 has also got another trick up, up its sleeve. As you can see, it's not on the clip. So we go into here and get it where it will focus. Uh, go down the pin pointer and press research. Right, let's see if it's see if we can find it. Can you hear it? So we are, even if the pinpoint is switched off and you leave it somewhere, you can hit that research button and uh, you can go looking for it, which I think is quite a cool feature. So there we are, the MI6 pinpointer. Um, was it a review? Probably more of a test than a review. But um, yeah, if you're thinking of getting one and you're a Deus or an XP uh, or X user, definitely definitely a worthwhile addition to those to the detectors even if you haven't got um, an XP Deus or an XP RX you can still use the pinpointer as a normal pinpointer it just means you won't you don't get the features of, of it being paired but it will still work as a standalone pinpointer and you can adjust the settings on the um, on the button instead of obviously on the remote but yeah a worthwhile addition so there we are thanks for watching everybody I'll see you next time